Hello friends, this is our 39th tutorial class. Today we have got testing time for one of the plus plural noun and second, can you remember? Bread and butter, bread and cheese, these compound names representing one unit. Isn't it? And the third one is sentences with there. So you have testing test frames for, for all these. Let's begin. Okay. Uh, here you have a hue and cry there. So you have to use the perfect form of the present perfect form of B. Come on, how will you complete this? And put it in the right order also. You will say there has been a hue and cry. Simple. There, you start with there, there has been, there is present perfect. There has been a hue and cry. So that will be the answer. Okay. Bread and jam, my favorite. B. You have to use the form of B. Bread and jam is, is my favorite for breakfast. Listen. Like if you have B, B will be given there. So, is. The, there are boys in the class. So how will we complete this? There are there are boys in the class. There are there are boys in the class. There is a monkey on the tree. Which is the which, which is the actual subject? A monkey. That is singular. Here it is boys, plural. So it is singular and so there is a there is a monkey on the tree. A man standing on a table, I don't know why. Why should he stand on a table? You have no idea. But anyhow, well, how will you rearrange the sentence? There is a man standing. There is a man. There is a man standing on a table. Five birds on a tree. There, that is understood. You have to reach there. There are. You have to say, there are five birds on a tree. One of the trains late running. Means you have to use the form of B. That's why it is given there. One of the trains is, is running late. Is, you have to bring it here. This has to be brought here. Is running late. One of the boys doing homework. One of the boys is singular no? is of the ten one of them hard working of the ten one of them hard working one of them is one of them is because one of them one of followed by plural noun is always singular it's a trap very often you find this in the test papers and so on all right among the many one of the girls beautiful sing. Among the many, one of the girls sings beautiful. Sings. One of the girls sings. It was singular, no? Simple person has, you have to use S at the end of the word. The third person singular. Alright, those things we already we know already. Among those, one of the parents, how is it? Among those, one of the parents speaks so that is singular, speaks. Ice cream and fruit mix. B. Is. So that is considered as one unit. Is delicious. There were seven in the group, only one of them. You have to use the form of have or has. Only one of them has returned. Has. One of them has returns. Has or have. Many applied, one of them, one of them you have to see, has or have, has been, has been selected, has been selected, has been selected. And the 15th one, we always do in units of 15. So you get some idea. Now one of them 
being healthy others are sick one of them is means in the group it's understood in a group one of them is healthy others are sick so three points remember three very important points sometimes you have got compound names with the compound names single unit like bread and butter bread and cheese bread and jam bread and uh, bread and egg sometimes you know <laughs> you use it together bread and like bread and omelets some people do that so that is a single unit no no you will ask me why always bread and bread and bread and you can say uh, 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 custard and apple pie you know apple pie and custard so so what so what Understand? Yes. So, not, because apple pie and custard is not usually used here, that's why. It's not very familiar here now, that's why I do not use that. Alright, so three points I think is very clear to you. One is there. There is not the subject, actual subject. The real subject is somewhere else, you have to find that out. When you say there are ten boys in the class, so ten boys are the subject and therefore you have to, you have to use the verb according to the real subjects. Understood? So I think that's clear. Then also one of the plus plural noun is always singular. One of the plus plural noun is always singular. Okay. Then units. Bye. Have a nice time. Enjoy your life. I think you all of you have got A plus. Fine.